Hey Audacious Church, how are you doing? My name is Rafaro, part of the Manchester Central Campus team, and it's my privilege to be bringing you today's devotion. We're continuing to look at the truth. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So today's key scripture, personally, I love it, one of my favorites. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says that all scripture, say it with me, all scripture, not just the bits you like, not just the bits you don't like, all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Get this. So that you, the servant of God, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. We could stop the whole thing right here, but that is a word in itself, and I want you to get this. Yesterday, of course, we looked at where the truth, where your truth potentially comes from. The scripture I just read says that all scripture is God-breathed goes on to list that it's useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, training, and all righteousness so that you and I, the servants of God, are equipped for every good work. Hear that. And there's nothing that you, God, would call you to that his word cannot equip you for. Boom. Insane. It's, it's without a shadow of doubt that the word of God is divinely inspired. The word of God is undisputed. God's guidance ensures that the truth of God um, is unchanging and is the moral foundation that is timeless. It is a moral compass for ethical choice making. Psalms 119 says that the word is a lamp unto our feet. All throughout scripture we hear about um, the prophets making these, you know, elaborate and like, you know, bold declarations. And Second Peter tells us that at no point to any of those things from the prophet itself, actually it is always God breathed. The Holy Spirit empowers people. To, to speak these words. There are many prophecies that we read actually in the Bible as well that also demonstrate a reliability because of the historical uh, and prophetic accuracy. You can read any of the major prophets to get some of this. But ultimately, the word of God brings transformation. It is guidance. It transforms our lives. It provides wisdom in areas of life that we need. It is consistent and it endures. The Bible is the source of all truth. And in closing, I just want to leave you with this. Matthew 24, 33 says that heaven and earth will disappear, but my word will never disappear. Heaven and earth itself will disappear, but it's her word never will. So I want to encourage you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whenever you're tuning into this, to spend some time with the scripture of God, which is the truth. Allow it to permeate your life and see if it won't change you and transform you and just grow you. God bless you, church. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye.